<laughs> Can you even imagine the scene without the frenzied score? Would a scary movie even be scary without the music? Initially in Psycho's iconic shower scene, Alfred Hitchcock wanted only the sound of running water and screaming. But it was his scriptwriter and editor wife, Alma Revel, who persuaded Hitchcock to listen to composer Bernard Herrmann's now legendary score with its screeching violin strings punctuating the sudden violence when the shower curtain is pulled back. Herrmann and Revel tapped into an important tool for manipulating primordial fear, perhaps sensing that the cadence, pitch, and repetition of the score acted as a kind of alarm processed by the brain, in particular the amygdala, the area that triggers the fear response. To test out the theory that certain strains of music can ramp up or dial down the fear response, researchers in Oxford, England played different kinds of music for people whose amygdala had been removed because of an illness or accident. People without this part of the brain had trouble recognizing scary music, while people with their amygdalas intact showed activity in brain scans. But that doesn't mean that all your do-it-yourself horror flick needs is a blood-curdling soundtrack. Context is hugely important, and watching someone iron their pants while the Jaws theme plays in the background isn't going to send chills down anyone's spine. But throw in a shark or two, and you have all the elements to provoke a keen sense of menace and doom. The use of repetition, crescendoing minor chords, and a high-pitched chaotic sound or dissonant notes send the mind reeling. And the closer these noises are to animal screams, the more our fear is manipulated. These animal vocalizations fall within the non-linear range, meaning that a distraught animal will tense its vocal cords, which produces notes that are raspy, unpredictable, and high-pitched. Daniel Blumstein, an expert on animal distress calls, noted these discordant cries in yellow-bellied marmots he was studying and devised an experiment after examining 102 film scores and finding that, among other things, the screams of animals were in several key scenes of horror films, including The Exorcist and The Shining. Along with film composer Michael Kay, they created a neutral music clip as well as music segments with nonlinear sounds based on animal cries of distress. As expected, participants were far more stimulated by the nonlinear music segments. In addition, if the nonlinear melodies became higher, the emotional reaction was more pronounced much like a mother tuning into the tensed vocal cord screams of a baby marmot. Which means that when we're watching a spooky movie, we're all pretty much mother marmots just watching us stand in for our baby marmots on the screen. Now what's your most scream-inducing movie? And when you watch it, do you cover your ears or your eyes? Let us know in the comments below. And to keep the videos a-coming, make sure to subscribe.